Alright, welcome to your canic. We have a 2019 Mitsubishi Outlander and we're going to replace the air filter in this vehicle. There's probably a very few different ways. Easiest way is just remove some parts, right? So we want to take this piece off to get their air filter that's back in here. So we've got these clipped. They're generally pushed in. Just prime up a little bit and then push it back down a little bit and then that way you can get the rest of the clip out. Right? And then this is connected and then you just pry it up this way a little bit and pop it off. Right? So we got that popped off. Simple thing, this connector here, just want to squeeze it together and push it back out of the way. Right? And then um, you would undo these clips in the process. But also we want to take this bolt out here. Just to make it easier to pop this thing out or give us more flexibility. Yeah, it's popped out. On the back side there's this little rubber um there's a rubber hose. You just kind of you know just pull it out of its hole. You can probably see it right there where it clips into the side there. And then this is just to remove the whole box because just kind of to me it makes it a little easier. We've got this um, mass airflow sensor. You take this grommet out of here. Just push the clip down here and pull it out. Then you got to undo this, loosen this up, and then this way there's some rubber grommets here that it sits on. Just pry it up, pull it up, and then pull, pull it apart. Then right. you've undone those. This opens up like a clamshell. Pull this out. We go ahead and we get our new air filter. It's new. And then we're going to put it back in. And note that you've got this tab that's not as round as all these other sides. That goes up in this top right hand or top left hand corner in that direction. Make sure it sits down in the channel here. And then you just take your two pieces, clamp it back together. So we've got it all clamped together. See these are the tabs that line up on there and then we can push this together. So you've got a tab here and tab here. Or this tab. And it all folds clamped together. Now of course you may if you've got it all down packed you can easily or potentially do this while it's still all installed but I find it easier to just remove the whole thing out. And then we're just going to go put it all back in. So push this into the um, connector here, which you're going into the intake, right? And then line up your rubber grommets on the little prongs here. And just push it down. And it's in place. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall this bolt in this location. Tighten it up. Okay, so that's good and snug. Make sure you don't forget to hook this connector back in here. Just push it back in, push this connector in here, and then push this back in there. Connect that up. Here's your mass airflow sensor. You don't connect that back up, the vehicle won't run as good as it should. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and tighten this clamp up. And now you go ahead and push this uh, hose back in over here. Go ahead and take this, and it works best if you kind of put it in from the top, right? And then just push it down, and you'll hear it. It'll just you'll hear that snap in, or not even just to kind of group in there. And then we've got that all put back together. And over here we have these clips pushed back in. Again, if you kind of I guess you've probably got them propped in there. Snap, snap. 
Good to go. Like I said, you might, if you figure out how to do it quite exact, you might be able to just pop these clamps open, be able to clamp it open, pull it out, put it in. I didn't find that it to be as easy as to just remove the few pieces you need to. But anyway, that's an easy way to go ahead and replace your air filter and your 2019 Outlander.